Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, The War of Conquest. We are back with our man, King Aegon, the Scourge of Wrathtown. I am the Golden Joe Oblivion, and the conquest continues. Last episode, we destroyed Storm King Argilac, and we casted him down, humbled, and destroyed. This time, we turn our sights west, probably to the Reach. We can't declare war on more than one kingdom at one time, unfortunately, because it breaks the event chain. Which is really, really important for, um, I guess, having the narration of the conquest. Yeah, I think that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, so let's go ahead and launch that invasion. The lands of the Reach are fertile, yes. Excellent. King Aegon the Scourge has declared King Aegon's conquest of the Reach. Uh, we are at a state of war. Excellent. So conquest be... Oh, shit. Okay, so we got. Uh, we need to get. We need to get this army out of here. <laughs> so sail down there and get them out of there. Uh, the Reach. I don't think we need to worry about them sending ships to Dragonstone, but we probably do. They probably have lots of boats because they're pretty. They're a pretty coastal faction. Uh, before I start the timer or anything, I wanted to give a huge shout out to everyone in the comment sections. Y'all have been giving me the best advice ever. And you've given me some awesome tips as to making sure we get as many children as possible. Uh, essentially, the brood of the dragon, as I'm beginning to call it. And essentially, the way the way that I, we're, we're going to do this is once we conquer the Reach, we're going to retire the three dragon riders, and we're going to change our focus to uh, family, hopefully. Although it says we have to wait three, three years for that. So I don't think the war is going to take three years. It most likely won't. But that is the idea, is I'm going to retire them after the War of the Reach, and we're going to let the armies of Westeros do the rest of the conquering for us. I think it'll be more interesting for the conquest-wise, and it will give our three main characters, uh, King Aegon, Queen Visenya, and Queen Rhaenys, more time to work on building the family, so to speak. So that is what we will be doing, with, uh, we will be doing after the conquest of the Reach. Something else I want to point out is... Uh, a lot of people have been asking me who I'm going to give XYZ titles to, you know, who's going to get the Lordship of the Riverlands, who's going to become the King of the Stormlands and Harrenhal, etc. Um, unfortunately, the Dragon Conquest, Cass's Belly, doesn't give you the titles of the people that you're conquering. All it does is subjugates them. So that is why the Iron, the Ironborn are, they've been named Lord Paramounts of pretty much the Iron Isles and the Riverlands. The titles just transfer to their to their heirs, and that's why Storm King Argilac is no longer king. He is now Lord Paramount, which is not good. That's not good because he, you know, this is a guy who came of age at a time where he was a king. So he's going to be pretty disloyal. So what we're probably going to have to do is plot to investigate their uh, 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 treason or something, or just keep an eye on them, because if they start plotting, then we can arrest them and stuff. Replace Queen Visenya as what? Lord Roland Darklin. You you will end your plotting. You would dare. Uh, the Lord must will not accept your offer. I'm not offering him. I'm commanding him to stop his plots. Revoke title. Imprison. We could. That would start a war, though. Not that it really matters. You're the Lord of Duskendale, are you not? Yes, the rebellious Lord of Duskendale. Hmm. Curious. How many armies can I raise now? 171. Okay. You guys all march. Uh, you know what? Don't march there. March to Duskendale, actually. March to Duskendale, actually. I am going to imprison this guy. I don't want him plotting against the royal family, so we're going to have to deal with that. We need to get this army of 7,000 back, and we'll go to Duskendale... And when we fail to imprison him, he will rebel, and we will melt Duskendale. We will turn it into a ruin. As for Aegonfort, Blackwater Bay, I think I'm going to give the Lordship of Blackwater Bay to somebody. Somebody I like. Because right now, I'm not I'm not intending on keeping uh, Aegonfort, King's Landing, Blackwater Bay. That's not going to be our capital. Frankly, because I like Dragonstone more. It's easier to defend and... Um, it has Dragonmont, the uh, fucking volcano in it, that helps your dragons live forever. So that's going to be our capital. And we need to get rid of Aegonfort, because Aegonfort only has 400, a garrison of 400. And one easy way to beat Aegon in the conquest is to do your classic King's Landing rush. And if you can take Aegonfort, you can 
you might not be able to take King Aegon himself captive, but you can take his family captive, any children he has. So it's really important that we give that shit away. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the Lordship of Blackwater Bay to Oris Baratheon, our half-brother. Excellent. And we will also give him the High Lordship of Blackwater Bay. And he, he will keep the Crown Lands under control. Excellent. Now then, these armies are... Okay, they're all going to go to Duskendale. You go to Duskendale too. I changed my mind. And then this fleet down here is going to go pick up our army here. And it seems uh, Lord Paramount Argilac is with us. Excellent. Uh, not everybody. Not everybody. But uh, enough. Enough. Um, do they have any allies that are helping them? I don't believe so. We have allies. He does not. Blah. Okay, go down here. Pick up my men. Pick up my men with Queen Visenya and Queen Rainies. Where is Rainies? There she is. And we're gonna we're gonna feel to fire this shit up. Oh, your grace, we've we've received word from Mountain and Vale. King Ronald II has led them to join a coalition in defense of the Reach and have issued a declaration of war against us. Fools, we shall crush them. Fascinating. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, snap. Okay, so now we're at war with three different factions. We're at war with the Veil, vale, the Rock, and the Reach. So now it's going to be King uh, House Gardener and House Lannister in the west and House Aaron to the north. Mmm. I like it. Going to make things interesting. We've received word. Okay, yep, that's fine. We'll crush them too. We will melt Casterly Rock if we has to. If we have to, they probably will have enough ships now to go to Dragonstone. So we really need to keep a good, you know, an idea, an idea. We need to keep a, an eye out around Dragonstone. We can't let them start offloading troops in our capital. Your Grace, on behalf of the Iron Brink of Bravos, I wish to offer you a loan with terms I'm sure you'll find favorable. This is to aid in your conflict with King Mern Gardner, who is in debt to our rival, the Ancient Bank of Carth. I see. Seems like a good deal. 191 gold, five year, five years, and loan is set to 10%. And that is because King Mern has taken out a loan and has not paid it back, I guess. Interesting. I mean, we could use the money. <laughs> we could always use the money. We can always repay it back later, so. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat glo gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some... Oh, fuck, I forgot Visenya's pregnant. Wow. <laughs> Visenya's really good at fighting. Look at that. 125 personal skill, even though she's pregnant. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, let's buy her something nice. I know I shouldn't be bringing her into uh, the war zones, but... But, you know, um, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Where? Ah, Westerlander boats. Hmm. How are we going to do this now? Are we going to, are we going to abandon Dragonstone? Hmm. Let's go to Eastern Blackwater Bay. And offload all of our men here. Excellent. Can they get on the boats? They can. All right, you, sir. I'm going to imprison you because you're part of a plot. You've you have been found as part of a plot, and we demand that you surrender. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that was easy. All right. We 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 don't need our armies there anymore. You guys actually come back this way and get in the boats. Um, let's see, King Mern, where are you? Leading troops in the Broken Sea. Okay, yeah, they're com they're they're coming for us. They're coming for Dragonstone. Uh, okay, Lord Darklin is a uh, awesome. All right, get to now. Go back to Sharp Point. We need to land in the capital. The enemy is sending ships towards us, and quite a bit, quite a lot of ships actually. So you go back here, and then these boats will go here. I am the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms, and King's Landing is an integral part of that title. It should be mine. It is my city. Gets a strong claim. I don't care. I, I, okay, whatever. Fine. You want to give me free claims, that's fine. I'm not going to complain. 
All right, so they've got 74 ships coming, and they are offloading their men. Is Visenya... Oh, oh, curious. Why is she in hiding? Comforted, resting, queen of the harvest. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Final months. This woman has entered the last phase of her pregnancy. Her condition is preventing her from taking part in public life, at least until the time her labor comes to term. Oh, excellent. Okay, so it, it automatically retires your wives when um, from from command when they become too too heavy with child. Interesting. All right. I want to go see if we can get any better commanders here. Ethan, Ethan Valarion, we need you definitely. And uh, I think we'll settle with just you. Actually, you know, if we're going to do that, we might as well just see if we can get Milano Regent of Velos. We'll invite you. We'll invite you, Pirio. And uh, that's it. That's it. We'll settle with that. All right, so the AI is going to be stupid, and they're going to funnel their troops into the grinder for us. What the fuck is this? Battle of Middlebury. Hmm... Your grace, excellent. Uh, to the commanding dragon lord. Nice. Yes. Blah. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you'll play as Ray Targaryen. I like that name. Um, something, something kind of odd about this bookmark. I'm not sure what the deal is, but they're not really giving me the chance to name my children right off the bat. But they do give you the ability to rename your children later until age ten. So. We, we've got a decade to decide what name we want for our characters. Um, I, we could name them after subscribers, but I'm, I'm a big fan of the Targaryen names, and that seems to be something common, or, or that seems to be something shared in the comment section, so we probably will just keep their names as is. Ray Targaryen, I like it. She is a lunatic. <laughs> God damn it. She's a... All right, but we are going to go full, full Marshall, full Marshall for House Targaryen. That's what we're going to do. Because it seems to work the best with the dragons and conquests and all that sort of stuff. That sort of stuff. Alright. Kill them all. Uh, once, once the enemy stops funneling troops to um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Really? Let's see. They're returning, they're returning back here to pick up more men to funnel to the capital. And we've got the fucking veil here, too. We can deal with the veil. We can deal with them. All right. This force has been destroyed. Get them on the ships. ASAP. Start moving towards the Bay of Crabs. I want to intercept one of these armies here. ASAP. Um, my allies, the Ironborn, are being stupid and throwing their lives away in the Reach, which is hurting our war score. Uh, Storm King Argalak, uh, former Storm King, has... Almost no men, so he's uh, not going to be very useful. We can fight these guys on our own, though. And we will need to. Can I land them here? No, I can't. I can land them here, though. All right. Now move on here. Um, no, let's move to Heron Hall first. And scare them into staying here at Haraway's Town. Excellent. The, the Vale, uh, this campaign has been proof that Lord Illifer of Seaguard is clearly not of proper blood. I wish I would never have to meet him again. Oh, come on. Really? House Malister? Really? Well, you know, you guys were candidates for Lord Paramounts of the Riverlands, but, uh, I see now you're just gonna be an enemy of the crown, so... You know what we should do? Let's retire him. Let's retire Lord Illifer. We'll make Edmund Tully uh, give him that title. Where is Tristopher? Good old Tristopher. Illifer, I mean. Illifer. Right. We're going to relieve him as commander because I don't trust him leading my armies now. Revoke title. High lordship. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. But we do need a better commander. And Athan, Athan, he'll do the trick. Lord Illifer, I do have an appropriate title for you. You will be court jester. <laughs> All right, and we are moving in, and we're we're going to we're gonna, we're going to engage the Vale. They have not consolidated their armies yet, so uh, this should be an easy victory. And my Ironborn are being absolutely useless. Kind of unfortunate. That's right. Bring them into the slaughter. Fantastic. Where are they where are they pulling back to now? 
They do have 9,000 men, though. Do they have ships coming our way? They might eventually. Uh, leading troops in the Broken Sea. All right, we've got more incoming. So we've destroyed a good chunk of uh, the Vale armies to the north here. Although there is this army that's coming here too. What is this? Riverman Liberation. Interesting. So the survivors of the battle in Haraway's town have reached Harrenhal where they've been intercepted by a liberation revolt. Interesting. But we need to get back to Dragonstone. Or do we? Uh, I think we do. Oh, this is tough. Visenyo, we can have her back. Um, this is tough because they're going to offload more troops, but I have the chance here to intercept 10,000 Veilmen. When does their movement get locked? The, 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 the 12th. Okay. Excellent. So uh, they're moving into Harrenhal. Most likely to uh, meet up with this army here and deal with this little revolt. And they probably thought we were offloading our troops. But instead of offloading our troops, we were turning around now and attacking them. Taking them by surprise. Uh, whose side are we going to be on when we join? Ah, that must that must really suck <laughs> fighting fighting one battle only to turn around and see an enormous army behind you. Uh, your grace, I am deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your loyal subjects are running dry. Give them some tax concessions. All right, okay, we 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 got to get back to Dragonstone ASAP. I've got an increased amount of questions from Evelyn lately about the gods and rituals of the Valyrian faith. Evelyn Brun. Hmm. No, she she is not High Valyrian. She should not know about our, our religion. She should not know. Independence. Who who desires independence? Ah, House Frey. Well, we will deal with them soon. Their time will come. Alright, on the boats. How can I rely on my generals when their understanding of warfare is so lacking compared to my own? I could teach Athan a thing or two. Lecture him on flat terrain, because um, Rhaenys Targaryen has had Meraxes' dragon egg. Interesting. Dragons are having babies now, too. Alright, don't care. Aethon gratefully accepted the lessons, as he should. Alright, let's retake, uh, let's uh, liberate Dragonstone. Uh, the guards drag Roland Darklin up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice. Uh, Sir Robin Darkland will be his champion, who has a dual skill of 85. Holy shit, he's a formidable fighter. So his br his his brother wait 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 Sir Robin yes his brother is a formidable fighter. Is it too dangerous to fight this? Because <laughs> we're both formidable fighters. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I will select someone to stand for the for his king. No, I can't afford to lose him. I would lose 100 prestige. I think I'm going to disregard your rights. The the whole duel by con the trial by combat is a Westerosi invention, and I don't think that's something that the Valerians would really give a shit about. <laughs> yeah, I, it's just that's the way I see it. Which is why we can disregard it. Um, maybe we should let our morale get up to 100 before we go and attack. Maybe. I guess we're going to do it, because I've already decided. So, the war is kind of in our favor now, although my allies are deliberately throwing their men away, which I know why they're doing it, because they're not really loyal. They want to see us lose. Which is kind of the which is kind of the downside to um, forcefully conscripting your enemy's armies is they may have loyalty somewhere else. The Vale armies have been utterly annihilated, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. It's the Reach and the uh, the the Rock we have to worry about, and we can we can take them. We can take them. I have three thousand more men. Ooh, Blackwater Bay. Where else did they pop up? Doesn't matter. Get down here and collect these men quickly. Quickly. All right, are we almost at 100? And let's start marching. All right, we're here to destroy you. 
Ah, King Mert is leading his... He's leading the men himself. He probably won't be in the battle, though, because the AI likes to do that sometimes. No, he's in the battle, and he instantly surrendered. <laughs> he, he saw the dragon fly overhead, and he, uh... He, he uh... Pooed his pants, and he ran away. Ah! How embarrassing for a king! Alright, let's follow and destroy their armies. Um, I think we have a Cassis, uh, we have certain conditions here, um, where I think we're gonna need to occupy territory before the game allows us to, uh, before we can declare victory in this war. Alright. Yep, destroy what's left of them. And their quest, their movement locked, right? Yes. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Drop the troops here. Thank you. Don't let them escape! There we go. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, hold on. We have got incoming men. Let's go ahead and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Keep keep sending out obligations, I guess. Letters for obligations and, and stuff. The land is consumed by dragon fire. Yeah. Unfortunately, Dragonstone's going to have some trouble developing because... Uh, <laughs> The AI keeps going for my capital, and we keep burning it with dragon fire, so... Alright, I mean, as long as we can get our troops into battles against, uh... Hmm... Let's... let's... Oh, shit, I can't, uh... We need some more boats. Let's go get some more boats from the Mercenary tab. This should, uh, this should do nicely. Hopefully this will be enough. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Your Grace, we've received word that the dragon Vagar, owned by Queen Visenya, has died in Dragonstone. She had suffered a grievous injury that had rendered her unable to fly and eventually killed her. Oh, Visenya. Visenya, what are you doing? What are you doing? What did she get uh, in her treasury? She got the Skull of Vagar. The Skull of Vagar, who died from a severe maiming. Interesting. The polished skulls of dragons look like glittering onyx, and their teeth like curved daggers of black diamond. Very cool. But she did get an egg, though, so at least the legacy of Vagar will continue. That does kind of suck, though. We're down to two dragons. That's not good. All right, let's get Aethon now. Have uh, uh, Visenya stay stay at home. Still not enough. Not enough boats. Well, that is possibly one of the worst outcomes, is losing a dragon. Not good. All right. Get the men on the ships. Visenya has had Dragon's Whip added to their... Wait a minute. What the hell's going on? Has the dragon... Wait, so Rainey's has an egg, right? She's got Maraxi's dragon egg. I think there's another dragon. Hold on a second. Let me see. Wild. Esoval. Esoval must be... Yes, that... So she got the egg after Vagar died. And then the egg almost hatched like a week later. But she has not tamed it yet. It is a, It is but a baby. Esoval. Oh, man, we can rename it. It's fertile. This dragon seems to lay eggs at a greater frequency than others. All right, Alrighty, guys, you know the drill. In the comment section, leave ideas for a dragon name. Let's see, how. what is the... Age is less than one. Holy shit. So, third moon. So, we have a year to rename the dragon. All right, so leave suge suggestions in the comment section below about what you think would be a good name for uh, for this new this new baby dragon. Esavel is not good. That's not a good name. We're not going to keep it. We're going to change it to something else. And uh, we'll try to build some kind of consensus about the, the best name for this new dragon. But we have a war that we must win. Is this army really worth going for? I'm not sure. If we destroy this army, though, we will remove the, the, the uh, any threat the Vale poses, so it might be worthwhile. And it's close by to the capital. Okay. And... Oh. 
All right. <laughs> I, di I didn't see her where my ships were for a second. I didn't realize we were offloading them. Ah, look at these cowards. They flee. Yeah, but now they're just going to... No, they can't escape us now. Excellent. After many months of studying the campaigns of the Valyrian Freehold, you have acquired many fascinating insights and gained new wisdom in military matters. You realize that the art of war might be well worth studying, and we get plus martial and stewardship. Excellent. All right, and that should be all the all the men that the Vale can muster against us. So the Vale has effectively been removed from the war. Now we need to get down here and start destroying. Well, you know what we can do. Whoa, King Myrn was slain by Lucius in personal combat. Who Who is Lucius? Let's go look up and see if we can find this Lucius. Because I would gladly reward the man who slayed the king. Ooh. Unfortunately, I don't know which Lucius it is. That's kind of shit. I wish I could see who killed him. Oh, you know what? We can, we can check. Kills. There it is. Uh, awesome new little feature. You can look through kills every character has made. And that's how we were able to find out that Sir Lucius the Kingslayer... Is he, is he our vassal? Yes, he is. Sir Lucius the Kingslayer. Congratulations, sir. I would like to reward you. No. False religion. Fine, okay? Fine. But you know what? We will send you a gift because you killed a king and you deserve it. So now he's not completely broke. And maybe we can arrange a marriage. Um, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. We don't have any artifacts, do we? We have artifacts, but we don't have anything that we can really... No, we can't get rid of. Well, unfortunately, Sir Lucius... I can't really reward you anymore for, for uh, your bravery in slaughtering King Myrn. But anyways, it seems his son, King Edmund, has taken over. So if we were to do a high garden rush and melt the castle, could we kill most of House Gardener? I think we could. I don't see any armies around... Uh... Well, it depends. Where is this guy? Leading troops in the Emerald Sea. So he's, he's here. Shit. So if I wanted to get... I'm thinking about using my Master of Whispers to spy and give us a heads up if any armies are coming our way. So what would be the best place to do that at? Um, maybe Sunspear? Maybe, maybe Sunhouse. Sabotage economy. Plot uncovered. Vassals. Uh, um, let's put him in a high garden. Sure, sure, that'll work. That'll work. All right. We do have enemies incoming to the capital, so we have to repel them first, and then we're going to go for the classic reach rush, and we're going to melt high garden. Our prisoners complaining about his cell. I don't give a damn. We can do a Reach Rush, and then we can do a Casterly Rock Rush, because they're both close to the sea. We could try to get to the Erie, but it's not a coastal its not a coastal capital, so we would have to go in, inland, and that would slow us down a lot. Alright. Up the Manderley. I believe that's, that's what this river is, the Manderley. Uh, or, or, or Mander? Manderford? I don't know, I don't know. But we're going on the offensive now. We're taking the fight to them. When you're, all right, so somebody escaped. Uh, your dragon is uh, ravenous. I shall offer them just recompense. No, no, he won't. No, he won't. He is a dragon. Your grace, an enemy host approaches. To the Ublay with him, make sure he can't be found. Who? Oh, god damn it. God damn it. What level of fort do we have here? Let's build some basic defenses because the goddamn AI seems to love going for a capital. I write, I don't have time for these interruptions. He's doing a fine job. Get out of my way. The next person who interrupts my com my campaign, I will have beheaded. All right. Retake the capital. 
problem is, is these stupid, these stupid uh, 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 kingdoms have endless amounts of troops that they can keep sending to our capital, which is bullshit. Do I have more men? No, of course not. All right, clean up, clean up. There we go. Where did that army of Westermen come from? Apparently, one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife, Visenya, who should not be in command. What? Why is she in command? Leading troops in Driftmark. She shouldn't be. Wait a minute. That's Rainey's. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. Um, let's see. Someone has been annoying my wife, Visenya, and instead of asking me for help, she took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again or he'd know the consequences. What on earth was she thinking? She did the right thing. I guess she did the right thing? I don't actually know. Oh, great. We've got more. We've got more people that want to die. Mmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to get these guys on the ships, and we're going to go for a high garden. And... Wait a minute. Yes, we do. We are going we, we are going to do that. And I'm going to pay... Well, I was going to pay some uh, mercenaries. Ah, the Company of the Cat. We will pay 300 gold. Do we want to do that, though? Is that wise? I think it is. All right, we will we will hire the Company of the Cat, and they're going to defend Dragonstone. And if they turn on us, we will we will show them fire and blood because uh, cell swords have been known to do that. All right. Yep, we've got more incoming too. So the Company of the Cat is going to have to deal with them. Who do they have for uh, commanders? They've got Ragas. Let's give you Lucas, and let's give you uh, Daemon. All right. Then these guys are on their way to High Garden. All right, here they come. They're, they could be dropping 3,600 or 3,700 men. Oh, these goddamn interruptions. The castle, fine. Oh, they only dropped 700. Nice. Deal with them, Ragas. Deal with them. All right, and pursue. Oh, they yeah, they are running out of men to uh They are running out of men to send to the capital, and we are here. We are here in High Garden. And they do have an army that's coming down south, so no doubt they are now seeing that we are here. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, we have the chance to do some crazy shit here. Let's see, combat won't start. We're suffering from attrition. If we move on them now, we'll catch them. But they have way better morale than we do. But we have dragons. At least we should have dragons, right? Rainies, Ethan. Yep. We will intercept this army here. And we will begin the field of fire. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, um, apparently our morale is now 100. I'm not sure how that works. But we will deploy our dragon in combat. I'm just getting distracted by all of the new the new options I have here. The field of fire. The enemy are beyond counting. Their ranks reach beyond the horizon. Armor shining in the midday sun. Your dragon roars in eager anticipation. You cannot help savoring your victory. Dracarys. King Edmund and King Lauren. And King Ron... Wait, why, why is King Ronald here? Dracarys! Excellent. Excellent. We have annihilated the armies. Did they even stand a chance? Did they even stand a chance? And so we have unleashed fire. We've unleashed fire here in Bard's home. We've annihilated the uh, gardener host. And now we will move on to High Garden... And we will show them fire and blood. But that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, The War of Conquest. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. And until next time, I will see you all later. Mm -hmm.